Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Franbo. Where we left off, we managed to, well, almost get home, but not quite. And we ended up getting with Dr. Dearn again. And he seems to be on our side, but I still don't like him. <laughs> I still do not trust him one bit, but he wants us to find evidence about our family's murder, so... Hmm. No name, no flowers, maybe nobody is down there. Nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. I think nobody wishes to be alone, so I'm leaving. Well, we do have a crowbar. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh, my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I could see you because I have very big eyes, you see? <coughs> oh, I'm C. I I'm C. I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the de uh, deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that, huh? Uh, alright. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. It's not real leather, it's more friendly. Hmm, like using dead bodies. Oops, I made a big... What a big hole I made. Whoop, I have leather now. Okay. Here's a piece of leather. Ugh. Well, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pinezelius, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm, I'm alright, Miss, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Alright, goodbye, I guess. There's nothing in here I can use. This isn't wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. There you are, fan. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. I'm trying to fucking... There we go. Hitbox is weird. Well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffin. Stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll open them. But uh, what? What? Uh, okay. That is oddly specific. Ah, uh, hello. Oh my goodness, Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. Wish you could talk and tell me who took you for away from me. Was it a big bad monster, Daddy? Oh, Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too skinny, I would say. But I guess you'd take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. Now, what about the third one? Holy shit. 
Oh, I'm not in the coffin. Great. Well, that can't be my kitty, but because this midnight is at home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'd name you Albert. Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like that. Also, the dad cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Man, I told you. Your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. Can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Whoa! He just got deleted from existence. Vanished in the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Oh dear, You're, you broken little girl. House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up! Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Looks like this is the last chapter. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. I, really? That's incredible. But why am I chained down? Somebody see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Why not? Okay, you're very sketchy. I don't fucking trust you. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What, he ran away, but what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Yeah. Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. What the fuck is my cat doing? Okay, I'm back. Jesus. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't you worry about the lies. Seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight, and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. The darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. You bitch! No, no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please! Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are tiny and soft. I hope he's okay, but what should I do now? Tuck, tick, tuck. Sounds crazy. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clock mirror said the time is layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room and another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Deeran said that everything is in my head. I'm going to lay in this bed ever again. I have better plans than waking up chained to it. I will find Kenny move to Ethersta. Still got my knife. Secret code or something. Maybe it can't be open at all. There's gotta be something to that. And this one is Kitty and me. We're lying on the grass looking up at the sky. I'm singing songs of his midnight too. Cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock tells time differently. Stand on one side of it, you will never grow old. Is it 
the window to save me. Oh! The wind took all the magical dust away! Oh, hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? No, oh, dog is just a chain. Can you unlock it? Oh, you're myself! You really are! Think so? This means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He's always talking about that. Yeah, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. Crash? That means you're broken! I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it, the only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They. who are they? All the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yeah, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why do we see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea, I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Grace blames him for this death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat, I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It so happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. The shirt is angry with me. These are pants. They can be used by creatures with two legs. The key collection. Oh, I unlock the other friend now. Oh, I drew this after my journey in Itward and Polantros. Aww. That's cute, actually. I like that. Arg, that jacket. Aw, my yellow dress is pretty. Blanket on white, crayons, draw happy faces with, I don't feel like drawing right now. But you do bad things. Who is that? Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl, that's all. Let's try these keys, then. Uh, let's try... no. Uh, maybe this one? This one. Aha! Thank you so much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. What the fuck is my cat doing? She is nuts. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Al just told me that if we got met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see it has tears this time. I think it once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Pontrus, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yeah, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't. Now, she's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Brandy. Let's see the doctor now. What the fuck is up with my cat? I might have to BRB and get her babysat, dude. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, let's find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. Nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take care of my cat real quick. Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm back. Okay. So... Fairy tale book. Little golden box. Wait, does this go to... Oh, no, it doesn't. So, it's obviously to the box. Okay. Left ear twice. Left ear, wait, what?
Oh, okay. Just continue before we do that stuff with the box. Balloons? Why? There's candy hair all, cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. My school case and may need it. Can I open it? Uh, hello. Aww. This is Alice from school. We like to play together. He tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits at times. We have so much fun making stuff up together. Aww, that's Alice from Wonderland. I get it. See, it's a little Cheshire cat, too. That's a cute little reference. Okay, what's out the window? What the hell? Come on, nasty creature. Poor tree, he must be really sad with that Kamala eating him. Kamala's don't like water. Is he somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. Ella, have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you okay? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, maybe I can. I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Poor guy. Things have changed a bit. The house looks so old and bloody. I wonder what happened to their street. Remember the door removed? I look it out then. I can't walk through walls. If I'm just mid, I have to find the door. Oh, hello. Uh, what? Huh? Huh? Okay, what? What the hell is that? Aww. Hang on. What about the clock? That's the only thing I haven't checked yet. Okay, what the hell do I do next? <laughs> Okay. I need to move the pine cone and the pocket watch to the right. Right of what? Uh, hold on. Take the pin and move the pine cone and the pocket watch to the right. Oh, okay. That's an item. Something back there? I feel the texture. What could it be? Can I. Oh, I could probably use this to open it. Huh? Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah, damn. Okay. Key! Nope. Maybe there's something in here that needs a key. No? I see a box up there. No? Uh, oh wait! I'm being stupid. Is it on here? No. What the fuck? Uh. Oh, now I use the box. Okay. So how the hell does this work? 
Oh, those are the ears. Okay. Uh, left ear twice. Uh, right ear once. Uh, the eye in the middle twice. The left ear once. And the eye in the middle. I am a master. What in the world is this? We got a key and a letter. Ecog manual. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. Balakot is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the Ecog clock on the giant back of the giant cat. Oh, I need a. I got a list of things I gotta grab now. Wake up, Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? It must be important. I think it must build it. Besides, it's designed by Cogwin. Cogwinder. A clockmaker, I mean. Kid? Key shaped like a cat. So pretty. Is that how I get out of here? No. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, sugar, my God. <sighs> Holy crap. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save right there because this is getting deep all of a sudden. What? What? What a big guy. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. Oh, a key. Ah, a key to unlock things that are locked. Let's see what it'll unlock. Uh, maybe... This one? No? Uh, you? Because I can reach it? Yes! Edward's clothing? But where is he then? Edward, are you somewhere near? <laughs> I just imagined him without any clothes. Okay. Oh, there's his hat. Or forgot his hat, or maybe he, the hat forgot its head. Maybe the hat can't exist without the head, and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. Up. Oh, that one talks. I mean, it blinked. The skull's in the wall. I never thought of this, but I kind of like it. It's just the inside of the humans. It's beautiful. I don't think it's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are so many doors I wish to unlock. It's like your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Before Steve, I see... I'll see what I can do to get the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mab Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing... Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay, Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the filth of reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remmer was king here. Ah, Remmer, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now, I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. How do I get that key? Spell, you have a little flesh on you. Kitty would lick and chew that off of you. Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? A oh, mysterious painting, so a mysterious place. That's indeed very mysterious. It's crying tears of blood, that's sad. Uh. Oh, it's over here. Hi! Can I take a soap? 
Does the sound of my heart disturb you? You can stop all of a sudden, that would be the end. I don't like to think about my heartbeat, I just want the soap. Soap, are you having trouble with your hygiene? You have terrible problems with hygiene, it smells like my flesh is frying all inside. That sounds delicious, and I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, take it with you, it's all yours. Thanks, dude. Be careful with the hijackers, they love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. That was terrible, I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap, see you later. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, okay. Oh, wait. Do I use this key? Okay. Hi. Truder Infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything. Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend Miss Midnight. I have to go find him. A Mabuka is asleep, waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Oh, thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. This dude's kind of base. Hairbrush to brush hair. Did I need that? No, but I need a working bulb, one glove, wake-up clock, black wire, and bottle with water. Okay. Oh, okay. Up, oh, 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 hold on a moment. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, insert button. And there's a bottle. Oh. I could probably get it water in the bathtub. What's this? I don't even know what that just did. Did that change anything? I don't see anything different. I don't know. I don't see anything. I could probably get water now. Bath boy. Oh no, I can't. That is so weird. Why can't I get water from there? You'd think I could. Oh, now I can get water. Uh... Okay, we got a bottle of water. Something else I need to grab in here. Let me see the list of things I need. Working bulb, one glove, wake up clock, black wire. I don't see anything in the closet. Oh, wait. That looks like a key.
Doesn't that look like a key, dude? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I can spray this water bottle at him? No. It was worth consideration. Wait, that's a working bulb, isn't it? Ah, oh, I can't take it. Lame. Really thought that would have worked. Uh, what now? Um, what else? What else? The black wire's right there? Really? I don't... I didn't see... Th oh... I didn't even notice that shit there, dude. Wow. Okay, uh, what else do I need? Is anyone addresses... Okay. Gotta go back to the first room. Well, let's get that button out. Do they need that? No, but something tells me it might be important for later. What else? Uh, go back to the monkey machine, insert your- Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's go to the monkey machine then. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail's asleep. Shh. Okay, insert button. Alright, I got a button. Now what? Oh. Okay, fine. So the key, at least I hope it can help me somehow. Again, the wire back. So we got pliers, but could we are we gonna pry the key out of that skull? That's gonna be fucked up, but also cool. Holy shit, I did! That is so mean of me. How could you? I hope someone takes your teeth out as well. Well, Tooth Fairy already took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? Yeah, holy shit, Fran. That was messed up. Now we can go in here. A wake-up clock. Perfect. What a big cat. Second like Mr. Midnight. Oh, thanks. Hello, tree. You're big. What are those red things coming from inside you? Guess it won't tell. Hi! Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I chose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing, I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? Just curious, see you later. Well, that's the case. It also kind of looks on fire. Oh, it needs something to brush it. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know, a hair comb? What's that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know, is it dangerous? 
It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. Wow, you're a Lucifer and all the other I met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. How do you, how do I get it though? Oh, if only I had the grab mat. Maybe I could use this like a whip. No? It was worth a try. What about the balloons? Not the water balloon. I could throw the water balloons at the Okay, 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 okay. Okay, looks like I gotta go back. There's a button on that cat. Or some kind of battery, I don't know what. Okay, so it turns out the water balloons, I could have actually used that to fill these up, and I can use those to defeat the Kamala. Powerful water balloons. Let's go back here, look through the window, and test out our 360 no scope skills. Uh oh. Well, strike one. Almost. One more shot at this. There we go. Goodbye, Kamala. Well, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Hope you find it. See you around. Imagine ripping a piece of yourself off and giving it to me as a reward. That is out of whack, dude. Okay, let's go. There's a, there's a glove on there. I got a glove. Alright. Going up. And now I can grab the key with the stick, I think. Aha! Going down. But I do need that clock, so what happens if I... What the hell is in there? I don't fucking know anymore. Maybe I can use the key on this now. Yep. Oh, it's a flash room. Huh. Well. I think this is a good place to end things off. <laughs> I think next part might actually be the last. Probably. I don't know. We're on the last chapter, so it's very possible that this could be the end. I don't know. Like, let me see how much longer I gotta go. Oh, not that far. Okay. So, yeah. I think next part will be the last one. So, next time, my friend Bo, we're probably gonna finish this game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys then.